Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D colorful text wheel animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. So I'm using this color palette but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever colors you want. I'll put a link in the description from where you can download this color palette. Now you can select the text tool and you can click and type whatever you want. I'm going to type motion graphics and it's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. I'm using this Gotham Ultra. Now let me just quickly select this text and I'm going to just align it into the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. After that, let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So you can hold down the control key or command key on Mac, then just double click on this. Now we can select this text layer and right click and we can just simply click on pre-compose and let's call this text. Just click on OK. Now we can go inside this comp and we can probably select this and press S. And I'm going to just simply scale this down something like this. Now let's go back to the main comp and we are going to start applying some effects. First, I'm going to create a new solid. So right click new solid and let's call this BG for background. And I'm going to just quickly change its color to something like a dark blue, just like this. Now we can select the text layer and we are going to just press Ctrl D. And after that, we are going to select the bottom layer and we are going to apply a couple of effects onto this. So first, I'm going to search for fill. Just drag it onto this. And after that, we are going to apply CC Radial Blur. Just drag it onto this as well. And at last, we are going to apply Curves effect onto this. Something like this. So now let's start playing with these. So first, I'm going to change the color. So let's pick this blue color. And then let's change the Radial Blur to Fading Zoom. And after that, you can just simply move this slider. And you can see we have this really nice zoom. And for now, let's set this to negative 15. And after that, you can go under the curves and from here RGB, you can select the alpha channel and let's click in the middle and then just simply drag it to the very top, something like this. So now you can see that we have this really harsh edge and this is how we are going to add the 3D depth effect to this. Now it's completely up to you. You can pick the angle wherever you want. So all you have to do is just simply use this center point and for this example i'm going to just move the center point to somewhere around here so now you can see we have this and if you want you can play around with the amount just like this so let's set this to five for now or maybe negative four it's completely up to you so once you're happy with it you can select the layer press ctrl d to duplicate it now let's select the bottom layer and i'm going to just change the color and then change the amount so let's set this to negative and maybe again select the layer press ctrl d and let's select the bottom one and let's pick this color and let's change this to negative 15 and at last i'm going to just simply duplicate it one last time and over here let's check this color and let's set this to negative 20 so this is how you can create some colorful text and it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever colors you want now we are going to select the top layer and i'm going to just apply drop shadow effect to this so that we have a very subtle edge on this one something like this now it's completely up to you you can increase the intensity if you want but for now i'm going to just simply set this to something like 75 so i think this is looking fine so we can probably get rid of our color palette so let me just quickly delete this so we have our text now in order to animate it we are going to go under the text comp and we are going to add some animation to this now I have a bunch of tutorials on this channel in which I have shown how you can use the animation presets to add some really nice text effects. So if you want you can just check out this video. And for this one I am going to just quickly animate its scale. And let's animate its position. And some rotation as well. So first let's focus on the scale itself. So I am going to just simply set the scale to 0. Now let's go under the range selector and i'm going to animate the offset so let's set this to negative 100 and let's add a keyframe and let's go to somewhere around two seconds and let's set this to 100 
Now let's go under the advance and over here we are going to change the shape from square to ramp up. Also you can play around with the ease low and ease high. I'm going to just simply increase the ease low value. And after that you can select both the keyframes, press F9 or you can right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Let's go to the graph. If your graph looks different, then you can use the edit speed graph, not the value graph. Now we can just simply select this handle and let's move it somewhere around here. So now if I play back, you can see we have this really nice animation. But if you want, you can just move this ahead. Just like this. Now we want to add some position animation to this as well. So for that, let's just simply go to the position parameter and it's completely up to you. You can just make it appear from whatever direction you want. So now you can see that the text is coming from this side or you can just simply move it down something like this. So now you can see that text is coming from bottom and also we can add some rotation to this. So let's set this to something like 45 degree. So there you go. Now you can see we have the rotation scaling and position animation. Now if I go back and now if I play back, here you can see we have this really nice animation. Again, if you want, you can just simply move these keyframes or just play around with the easing to make this have a smoother look, something like this. Now let's add some light streaks over here. So in order to do that, first I'm going to select all the layers, then right click and let's pre-compose and let's call this text animation now i'm going to just simply select the pen tool and we are going to draw two slanted lines something like this and i'm going to just simply increase its stroke just like that now make sure the layer is selected and we can just simply draw another slant something like this and on this one i'm going to just quickly reduce its stroke just like that now we can select these points and it's completely up to you we can just play around with its position. So I think this is looking fine. Now we can select the text comp and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And let's place it on top of this. Now we can change its track mat option to alpha mat. And if you are not able to see the track mat option, then you can click over here. Now all we have to do is just simply animate its position. So in the beginning, I'm going to just move it to somewhere around here. And let's go to somewhere around here. And after that, I'm going to just simply move it to this side. And again, we can just play around with the easing. Something like this. So now if I play back, here you can see we have this really nice animation. Again, it's completely up to you. You can play around with its position. Something like this. So once you're happy with it, you are pretty much done with it. Let's add some glowing edges over here so that it gives us a very nice look. So just simply select the ellipse tool and let's draw a random shape. We don't want the stroke and let's just place it somewhere around here. Apply Gaussian blur to this. And let's increase the amount quite a bit. After that, we, you can select this, press T and just lower down its opacity. Something like this. We can press Ctrl D and let's place it over here. And I'm going to just change its color to this pink color. So there you go. Now you can see we have this really nice text animation. Just like that. And the best thing about this is that if you want to change the text, all you have to do is just simply go inside this comp and just simply type whatever text you want. And now if I go back to the main comp. So if I play back here, you can see our text has updated. And this is how you can create these kind of animations. So the project file for this tutorial is available on Patreon and if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there. And if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to some exclusive templates and tutorial project files which are available only on Patreon. So with that being said my name is Abhishek and I will see you in the next one.